Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to dual boot Windows 11, and Ubuntu. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel, and stay connected for latest updates. So guys, let's start. Before proceeding, I'm assuming that, you have already installed Windows 11. If not, follow the guide for my button, and after installation, continue from here. Now, we need to make Ubuntu bootable USB, for that, Ubuntu ISO image is needed, and Rufus, for creating bootable USB, and any USB with minimum 4 GB, is also required. Plug the USB, and open Rufus. Drag Ubuntu ISO file to Rufus window. Your USB will be selected automatically, if not selected. Set partition scheme to GPT. Change the name if you want, and click on start. With recommended settings, click on OK. Confirm erasing of USB. And bootable USB will be created shortly. USB has been created successfully, close Rufus. Now, we have to create partition for Ubuntu, for that, open disk management. Select the C partition, and press right mouse button, and click on shrink volume. Now, enter the amount of space you want for Ubuntu, and also some space is needed for creating swap, so, make some extra space. After entering the amount you want to create, click on shrink. And here, unallocated space has been created, close all, and restart your computer, and boot to BIOS. Here in BIOS, make sure that you have disabled secure boot option. Now, exit BIOS saving changes. And on restart, boot to boot menu. Select your USB, and press enter to boot. Select Ubuntu, safe graphics, and press enter to boot. Now, click on Install Ubuntu. Select your keyboard layout, and click on Continue. Check the last option, it will install all the drivers needed, and then click on Continue. Here, select something else, and click on Continue. Now, Select the free space and create the partition, with reference. After the EXD partition has been created, select the leftover space, and click on plus button, and create the partition. After the partition is created, select the EXD4 partition and click on Install Now. Click on Continue, and proceed with the installation. And Ubuntu is being installed.
installation has been completed, click on restart now, and unplug the USB. After restart, if you can't boot to Grub Bootloader, later a fix guide will be uploaded. Now, one by one, I'll show you that each OS is working perfectly. Ubuntu is working perfectly, now let's check Windows 11.
Windows 11 is also working perfectly. So, that was it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, for more update, stay connected and have great day.